All right, so what we're going to do now is open up Character Creator 3. And you see that right now. So I'm going to do I'm not going to do any changes at all to the default body. That's okay. But what we do want is we want to make sure that this character has X plus or Acolypse enabled. So if we go right here, right here, double click this, and I'm going to apply. And to check to see if that worked, if you go to the body right here, scroll all the way down and make this bigger for you so you can see it better. Go to tongue, you should have, I think, seven extra controls now for the tongue. So that's good. That means that it's working. And this is a female, so what I'll do is I'll export this into iClone. Go ahead and go up, focus on our face, and I'm going to save this as a different project. Female face. Okay. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to show you is this is the name of this character is CC3 Base Plus. So we'll just name this to rocks okay and that should change it so the next tool we're going to be taking a look at is the aculips now this thing is so powerful and i really hope relusion improves on this because it's amazing all right so what i'm going to do is go to animation create script aculips and i'm going to import a file now the reason why we created three different exports is this I'm going to do them female, male, and then later in Unreal, we're going to have them both together. So I'm going to go with the female first, and I'm just going to let it generate the text. And this is going to do uh, its own AI generation thingamajig here. All right, so there you go. This is iClone generating the text, which it does a pretty darn good job. It's almost creepy. So we have the one, two, three, clap. Got that. And then obviously I wrote this script, so I should know. I see you like to meet up in creepy places. What do you want? I told you I don't work for you anymore. Look, you have how many agents? 50. Of course not. At, and then it says at, but it's actually what. What did you do now? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I did some prelim. work, then the project got axed. You got to be kidding. You got to be kidding, but why? And then what I'm going to do is align this. And again, iClone is going to do its magic. All right? So now if I apply this, press play, one, two, three, clap. All right, let me make this big here so you can see it a little bit better because there's a lot going on down here. I see you still like to meet up in creepy places. What do you want? That's sorcery, friends. That is so cool. I told you, I don't work for you anymore. And what I'm going to do is extend this to 3700 because I know... That's how much it is right here from the body, okay? You, I don't work for you anymore. That's so cool, man. Text to Look, speech. You have how many agents? 50? Okay. So obviously, we're not just going to leave that because we're going to fine tune it. All right, I'm going to move this all the way to the back and I'm going to control S. So let's start from the beginning and we have that one, two, three clap. One, two, three, clap. Okay, that's all I want. And I'm going to delete this ah. <laughs> Just like that. It's fixed. Okay, there shouldn't be any ahs in here. Because this is supposed to be silent. Okay? And what's cool about this is it breaks down every single thing that you say. And that's why when I said in the beginning that it's smart for you to take a look at the vice seams or vice -emies, if I click this vice seam right here, if you take a look at these, you can write your script with these in mind. Now, what I'm hoping is for we get a lot more of these, um, maybe a little bit more accurate, but this is what makes iClone 
so dangerous and so amazing. Because as you can see right here, S-Z, that makes the C word. Okay. And what's missing is the I. So there's actually an I there, and that's where the I-A-H came from. I see you still like to meet up in creepy places. And it does a pretty darn good job. Now you can spend an entire year fixing this up. You can see there's a U right here, and I'm going to zoom this in. So it says, I see you. Right? Right there. And they got the cree creepy. Now you can move this around. Creepy places. <laughs> That's crazy good. And what's cool about this is there's a little trick that I kind of messed around with. If I break this right here, and I break this right here. Since we broke these sections off, we can now even tweak it further if you want by right-clicking that clip and going to the Talking Style Editor. Now this right here even tweaks these further. So if I go to you, I can now tweak just this set of U's or this U and mess around with that. So woo, I can make it more or less. Okay, so this is, again, more customization. You can even tweak this per clip that you break, right? So for this one, this is only going to affect this, and I'll show you that. So if we go to 100, 200 here, I'll go right here. It's going to see that it's only 100. And it's really good because you really get to tailor how you want it to look. Additionally, if you want to use presets, you can just use these right here. But usually just use custom, but if you're in a rush, you can do this as well, all right? So speed normal is okay, and that's that. Perfect. And again, you can spend an entire I told you, I don't work for you anymore. month on this if you want. But at least I'm just what I'm showing you is just the tools. But this is really addicting. It's so fun. So I'm gonna keep going. I told you. I I told, I told you. you. Move this a little bit. Told you, I told you, I don't. Maybe to the right. I told you, I don't. I, I, I told. See that told. Now instead of this W here, I'm gonna delete that and see what that looks like. I, I told you, I, I, I told you, I don't. I told you, told, told you. you. There's a U E here. I told you, I. I told you, I don't work for you anymore. See, that looks better. In my opinion, I guess. This is a little bit late here. So I'm going to bump it to the left. You anymore. For you anymore. Perfect. Control S. Save that. So the next step of this is actually recording the eyes, eyebrows. Okay. So with that, I'm going to have to set up my eye clone life face. All right, so I have my live face app now. And what we're going to do is actually, like I said, we're going to be adding the eye motions and the eyebrow motions, right? So to do that, I'm going to my plugins, Motion Live, Motion Live. And I'm going to type in the IP that you're seeing right now on my screen. Okay, and then leave the 999 at the end is okay. Change this to live face. I'm going to remove the mouth because we already have the mouth. I'm going to remove this, okay? Because I want that coming from the uh, Acalypse, right? So we're going to go new. I don't want head rotation because we're going to be using our motion capture head rotation for that. And then I don't want auto blink. I want to blink myself. Turn on smooth. And let's see if this turns on. And I'll back up a little bit so you can see my whole face. There you go. One, two, three, clap. I see you still like to meet up in creepy places. Okay. What do you want? 
So very important part here, we have to make sure that I have an I reference in front of me, which I have it right now. I'm looking at my screen. It's actually this right here. So this is going to be the front of me and then I'm going to act out the scene. All right. And try to mimic it as close as I can to the real things. And then what I'm going to do is press record and we're going to record a take. One, two, three, clap. I see you still like to meet up in creepy places. What do you want? I told you, I don't work for you anymore. Look, you have how many agents? 50? Of course not. What did you do now? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I did some prelim work, then the project got axed. You gotta be kidding, but why? Okay, and then we're gonna press stop. And now that's gonna record those motion and you can tweak this as much as you want. You can spend a lot of time in here trying to perfect this, but at least I'm showing you how it's done. So I'm gonna stop recording the live face now. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm gonna close this here. Disconnect it. I'm gonna go to rocks. I'm gonna remove the vice seam here. Click on expression, because now we have this puppet clip. Now again, really good idea to have an audio in there as reference, because now as you saw, I blinked for the clap. So later, I can sync all of that perfectly. Okay, so now that we have all of that, we will now connect this using Live Link to Unreal Engine and record it. Fun stuff. <laughs>